longest hour I wanna come for you, I know you've been Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. Today we're going to be doing a productive Sunday in the life. I uploaded a Sunday in my life like a week or two ago and a lot of you guys were like, you should do these like every week and just like set the tone for the week and I was like, I love this idea. So I'm not gonna be doing them every single week, but I'll be doing them a lot more because my Sundays do often look different. So as you can tell, I literally just rolled out of bed, made breakfast, I was in bed all morning getting a video set to upload. That's kind of how my Sundays usually go and how I start the day. By the way, if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Grace. Welcome to this little pocket of sunshine on the internet where we focus on positivity, productivity, happiness, all the good things. I love it over here. Also the background noise is because I'm outside. I'm like on my balcony so you guys can hear kind of the cars and everything. But I just made breakfast as you guys saw. I'm sitting down to start my day with my breakfast and Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I love Skillshare so, so, so much. If you guys don't remember, I worked with them quite a few times this past summer. It's a brand that I truly, truly believe in. I love to use them, especially in times like this where I feel like I'm needing to acquire a lot of new skills with my new lifestyle. So I'll kind of show you guys what I'm watching right now. So this is the class I'm taking today. It's Designing the Life You Want for Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. Because I feel like right now I'm needing to acquire a lot of new skills because I feel like my life's kind of all over the place trying to adapt to online school. Also, this is like a little set. I made an egg burrito on this cute little strawberry plate. We have my beautiful flowers, which I do need to water this morning, and my coffee. Whenever we get inside, I'm going to show you guys the coffee I've been drinking. It is my new favorite at-home coffee, so I'm not going to share that, but... But really quick, a little bit more about Skillshare. The great thing about it is it's an online learning community for creative type people, which I know all of you are, are creative in different ways, even if sometimes we forget it. Like I know a lot of people are like, no, not me. And like this, these classes, they have so many to offer and they can really show you your inner creativity and how to express it and how to grow it. And there's seriously classes on so many things. Like literally like check it out because I have a strong feeling whatever you're interested in, they're going to have classes about, which is amazing because I personally know from being a college student a lot of the times you're in classes that you really don't care about and they're not really helping you grow the skills that you're looking personally to grow and work on to do what you truly want to do it's it's a hard it's a hard fact of being a student it's just not always stuff that you care about but on Skillshare you can learn about things that you're actually passionate about you actually care about and at a great price also you guys are going to want to be sure to click the link down below to join for two months of free premium membership so you guys can get all those good little learning things in that you have been waiting and wanting it to learn about. Also, even without that offer, it's usually less than $10 a month for the premium membership. So it's really not even, that's really not expensive compared to how much it usually costs to learn things. Like I know I always have had so many interests. I feel like I'm a person of so many hats and I feel like we all are as people. We try to categorize ourselves into sometimes like a major or one thing and that's all we focus on and all we learn about. But we're so much deeper people than that. You know what I mean? So Skillshare is a perfect place because you can do it at an affordable cost and grow yourself and stretch yourself in many different directions instead of just one direction which is what I really love about it. All right, y'all. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast and watch my Skillshare lesson of the day. It's a great way for me to start the day. I just feel like being outside. I always did this this past summer, being outside, educating myself on things that I care about on my own time just is empowering and feels good. So yes. Also, if you guys heard any buzzes throughout this little chatty little moment, there's flies like all over my patio. So if you guys comment down below, maybe I'll have to research this. If there's ways to like make flies not come around where you live. I don't know. I don't know what it is about my apartment. I'm not even by a trash can. Like thank goodness I'm not because I got into the dumpsters here get kind of very full, but I'm not by one. So I don't know why there's so many bugs, but but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my beautiful little flower view in my comfy little PJs, have my eggs, have my coffee, get that fuel for the day, watch my lesson, I'll catch up with you guys. We have lots to do today. We have a magazine meeting, we have grocery shopping, we have cleaning, we have a ton of schoolwork. Today's gonna be like the most productive day in history, so stay tuned. And today's gonna be amazing. Your day's gonna be amazing too. We got this, guys. All right, guys, so I finished eating breakfast. Literally, look at my coffee cup. She has been guzzled i need this today because we got a lot to do i wanted to quick show you guys that i need to put my breakfast stuff away but also i wanted to show you guys the coffee that i have been loving can't remember if i've showed you guys this but the love has only grown on me so it is this delight caramel macchiato 
literally so good i use this kroger stuff i know i've showed you guys this before you honestly don't need creamer with this because it's literally flavored and it's made with milk and cream i just put like a dash of this in there just to use this up even though like i use this with my cured coffee but this coffee is already amazing what i love about this it sounds like it's like sponsored it's literally not it's like a sponsored by skillshare like i said and we stand skillshare but I have to wait so long for my K-cup things to get cold since I like iced coffee, not hot coffee. So this is like perfect. It's literally like $3. I'll also show you this one. I haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna like recommend, but this Mocha Light Iced Coffee. Um, Emily said she likes this better than that one. She the one who put me onto that. She just tried this and likes it better. So kind of random. Also guys, like the amount of Celsius we have right now, Emily is a Celsius ambassador. Emily is my roommate. It literally is like an astronomical amount. So if anybody wants some Celsius, come hang out with us. But yeah, so that's the coffee I've been loving. It gets me through the day. We love it. Me and Emily are like such like drinks people. Like the amount of funky drinks we have, like this is so good. This orange juice I've been drinking. I always talk about these. Like literally our fridge is like not food. It's just different beverages. We're always trying new juices and stuff. Ooh, actually I put this stuff away. By the way, I got this at the container store and I'm obsessed with it. I don't know, I just feel like bougie. I feel like I'm living my dream life. I feel like Kim K having a little egg carrier. Like, I don't know if y'all get excited about things like that, but those kind of things bring me joy. P.S. Putting sour cream on your eggs is how to make them taste like they're from a restaurant, not from your house. I said what I said. I don't care how fattening it is, it's delish. So, yes, I literally have to get so much at the grocery store today, but that will happen actually really soon we're gonna go. But really quick, let's go make my bed and like get the apartment clean and set for the day make my to-do list all those good things my room's right over here if you guys haven't seen my apartment tour if you have you would know where all the stuff is but here's my little morning mess of a room she's not bad but a little sunday morning bed making time let's go often you've had it rough but you also had your coffee Alright y'all, so I made my bed. I'm going to quick change it to some casual clothes. I think I'm going to end up getting dressed up and getting ready later, maybe, but to go to the grocery store, it's hot outside. I have like a sty on my eye, which is nasty, so I don't really want to put too much makeup on, kind of like a TMI thing. Um, I was stupid and I had a sty earlier this week and I didn't throw my mascara out because I wasn't thinking. It went away and I was like, wow, that one didn't last that long and now I have another one, so clown. At least I think that's what it is, so... Might just have like a like casual looking day. I'm gonna throw some like athletic clothes on and we are going to go to the grocery store. All right guys, so I am changed. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit before I run out the door. But really quick before I go to Walmart, I'm going to make my to do list for the day. You guys have seen this in videos before. It's Rifle Paper Co, but I use this every single day to either set a schedule or a to do list. Weekends, I do to do list. During the week, I do a schedule for the day. So yeah, we're rocking no makeup, having a productive day moment today. We stand, so I'm gonna set you guys down and make my list. Okay guys, so first of all, I'm using one of my pop-in pens. These are like my favorite, but today I have to prep for two Velvet meetings, which is the fashion magazine at Ole Miss that I am a director of social media on. So I need to prep for today's meeting and tomorrow's meeting. I have to attend the Velvet meeting that's at five today. I'm so excited for that. We're finally getting started. We were waiting until like rush stuff was over. I have to go grocery shopping as you guys know. I have to do my bio test, RIP. I really don't know. I'm really not um, amazing at science, so we'll see how that goes. I need to edit a video. I need to, guys, I'm like literally like using you guys as like to bounce off my thoughts, but I'm speaking out loud. Did you guys ever do this? Like, if you guys don't have a YouTube channel, do you ever talk to yourself like you do? Because before I had this channel, I would literally sit in my chair and pretend like I was talking to the camera. Anyways, oh, I need to clean my apartment. I always deep clean, like, it's not messy, but I deep clean my apartment on Sundays when it comes to like vacuuming, spraying down doors, spraying down countertops in my bathroom and like bathtub being cleaned just because it's been like a week and it's kind of nasty. Um, and then we'll just leave it there. If I think of more things, we'll do them. All right, we got the to-do list set. I left some blank because I know I'm gonna think of more things. Like I know I need to do like some skincare stuff, random things today, but 
we're gonna leave this here i don't think i'm gonna write a grocery list i'm just gonna go for it so we'll see how that goes not my like number one tip but just kind of trying to like save time today so oh i know what i need to do i have to interview my mom for a paper i'm writing to my imc writing class all right now my outfit all right guys time for my errands outfit we'll see if i end up wearing this all day i actually think it looks kind of good so i might just end up leaving it on but i'm wearing this impressionism heaven shirt it has like these like wing sleeves which are my favorite it's from zaffle these biker shorts are so cute comfiest ever they're from airy literally softest shorts ever feels like pj shorts but like it looks fashionable like pjs but make it cool and then i'm wearing these nike air force ones and i'm wearing my little louis vuitton dupe backpack if you guys can see i just have the straps like super long to keep it casual grabbing my keys i already have my mask in my bag oh actually i'm gonna show you guys the mask also like fun fact my glasses literally are always like kind of crooked looking i probably shouldn't have pointed out because now you're gonna notice but i i think my ears were like uneven or something but i'm gonna show you the other one in my car but check out this mask so cute so cute I love it. These are my merch masks I'm currently selling. So I will have these linked down below and on the screen. But how cute I designed them. So this one is the rainbow mask. And then I also have a Dalmatian one. But that's in my car. Because I just recently used it. Because these are literally my favorite masks ever. Even besides the fact that they're my designs. They're so comfy. And I don't know. I just feel a little more protective on their mask. Also, the company donates a mask for every mask that you buy. So really cool kind of ram tangent i kind of forgot to share that with you guys that i have a mask line right now but do have gray smith masks available so shop those if you're interested also sorry it's so bright i turned my brightness up to show you guys over there i didn't turn down so i'm being ratchet okay anyways let's go to walmart Look at me guys, I'm finally remembering reusable grocery bags. I'm trying to better. I've seen comments about my plastic bag is trying to better. Also ignore the stuff. Cookout always gives me like 90 straws and I like don't even ask. So, yes. Okay, really quick, I wanna show you guys the other mask I have for sale. Um, the other Grace Smith merch mask, so exciting, is my Dalmatian one. How cute is this? It's a little bright outside, but again, it just has my logo like the rainbow one, but instead of the rainbows, it has this little Dalmatian type design. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing one of those masks in Walmart, obviously, of course. I'm gonna head there, put some good music on. My phone's actually charged for once. If you know me in real life, you know that my phone is always on quite literally under 5%. I will plug it in to get it to 5% and then I'm like, oh, perfect, we're good. So that's my toxic trait. All right, so Walmart, what music do you wanna listen to? I'm not really feeling country. I kind of want like some hype up. We're going to Walmart music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Worried about me? Okay. Not me listening to Do Better while I go to Walmart. Like, okay, so this. Alright guys, so I am back from Walmart. I didn't show you guys because I was like really in a rush to get my groceries to go back. I stopped at Home Depot to see if they had like a Venus flytrap plant because we're having the bug problem I was talking about this morning outside, but couldn't find one. So yes, just got home. I'm so excited. I finally used my reusable shopping bags. I need to bring like one more next time because I had like, I had to grab one plastic bag just because it'd be too hard to carry into my apartment if something didn't fit in a bag. But, but ignore the glare on my glasses. I'm going to give you guys a fast little grocery haul just while I'm putting this stuff away. And then I think after this, I'm not quite hungry yet, so I think I'm going to prep for my today's velvet reunion. So, first thing, I can't believe I've been in college like a month and I haven't got these yet, but I got three ramens. I used to eat these literally so much, like in middle school and high school, and I just had not had them here. So I was like, that's an easy fast lunch. So I'm trying not to eat out. Last week I ate out a lot, so. Um, I got mascara because like I was telling you guys my nasty detail earlier. I have a sty on my eye So I'm not gonna open this yet until this situation is gone, but when it does I won't give myself a recurring infection. I got a Jack's Pizza. I haven't got one of these here But this is like all I ate this past summer. They're literally so cheap if you're like a college student to go shopping. 
I got uh, ground beef. I literally got the cheapest one they had. You love to see it. But I bought taco seasoning a while ago and I bought taco meat and it went bad. So I'm going to make this literally like tonight and then meal prep tacos for a few nights week because I've been craving Mexican food a lot but I don't want to like keep going to Taco Bell and stuff because that just like wastes money and time. Um, I got a cherry vanilla, one of these drinks that I love. I kind of like have like overdone them so I only got one this week. But then I got apple cider vinegar. I don't drink this, I use this in my hair. Another TMI, I'm telling you guys all nasty things about me today. I get dandruff if I don't use this. I used to use head and shoulders, but I kind of made my hair like more greasy than I like it because now I just use like a cleanser on my hair. If you guys ever want to like a hair routine, it's so simple for me, but for anybody who has like extremely greasy hair, I do what works really well. This helps with greasy hair and it helps. If you use it once a month, you won't have to deal with dandruffy type stuff, which is good because nobody wants a flaky scalp, that ain't cute. So I just got the Walmart brand. I hadn't bought it yet here. I used it like at home before I left, but I need to get some for here, which I'll probably end up using tonight. You also need to make sure you like take another shower decently afterwards and put like good smelling stuff in here because that stuff smells so bad, but it works. I got mozzarella bites because I keep going to cook out and I figured this could be a good replacement. I've never had these, so we're trying something new. I didn't really want like mozzarella sticks just because those are like so much, but those like a bit smaller. I got this, I have the noodle somewhere, a vodka pasta sauce. I always watch Kenzie Elizabeth and she always uses this. I've never had it. Like at home we ate very basic and I eat very basic. So there's like, I don't know. I want to start trying a few new things every week. So I got the sauce and pasta to try it. Again, I'll probably meal prep it because I have a whole thing of noodles. I don't know where those are. We'll get to them. I have, I'll try to start hurrying this up. These pizza crusts, these aren't my favorite, but they're what Walmart have. Pop tarts just because they're quick and easy. All right, so it's in this bag. I got I got the staple like late night pack snacking food, a bagel bites. I got my you guys have seen me make these in like every video. My TGI Fridays boneless wings. These are my favorite. I'm kind of overdone them a little bit, so I'm probably not gonna meal prep them for every day this week, but I'll probably have them in a few days. I got just literally Walmart brand and then pasta for the vodka sauce. I got this to try. I wanted to try some new sauces. The Baja sauce. This is Taco Bell sauce. I'm going to try to make a chicken. I don't know what that was. I'm going to try to make a chicken quesadilla with this because I googled it and that's supposed to be good. So I wanted to try. I'm trying new sauces. is always fun. And then I got pizza sauce for the pizza, obviously. Cheese because I go through cheese like a mad woman. If I had like one food that I ate the most of, it's definitely cheese. I got more of the coffee that I showed you guys this morning. I'm not out of it yet, but I know I will run out of it. So I figured go ahead and get it. I got very exciting pumpkin cookies and ghost cookies to get in the fall sphere. I'll probably make these tonight. I was gonna show you these, I'll send you a picture. I'm very excited, I'm always behind the camera watching me. But yeah, I was like, let's get in the autumn spirit. So I got both of those happy vibes in this house. And I got cheddar cheese crackers just cause I kinda wanted more snacks to throw in my work bag. When I go to my internship, literally like the prime reason I leave work and decide to cut my hours short for the day is because I'm starving. So if I brought a snack, it wouldn't be like that. Got more of these chips I get every week, the lime and cracked pepper, these are my favorite. And then lastly, I got a six pack of cherry coke. I've been getting the small ones because I realized I quite literally never finished them and I don't really like the bottles as much just because I kind of rather not finish it than like drink the whole coke like that's a little excessive. So yes, that is my grocery haul. You guys can't see it, but it's kind of spread out. I'm gonna stop putting it away because I'm making it take a hot minute. I'm gonna put all this stuff up do like a time lapse for you guys and then we're going to go probably prep for my meeting, maybe make some lunch. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to get to work, so I'll have a little working time up. So you guys can see Emily making her bean pizza. But yes, we're going to get to it. All right, guys. So I got like the beginning stuff done for my meeting prep. I'm basically like this week. There's a lot of things happening with Velvet that don't have to do with my post. So I kind of have to figure that out before I actually know like what I want our posting schedule to be and I have to meet with my team. So I'm kind of just making like the basic outline of what to talk about. But I'm going to make myself some lunch. I was going to meal prep at lunch, but I think I'm just going to meal prep at dinner because I'll be here by myself. So I'll give them something 
to do take a break from schoolwork because I have literally so much schoolwork to do tonight, but I haven't started the chunk of that yet, which is the stuff that makes me like, lose my mind. So I'm going to use cooking tonight to take a break from that. So for lunch, I'm going to make something basic. I think I'm literally going to have pizza so that it's fast. I'm actually going to literally make, make a lot so that I remember I got those. So who's shocked can have that and some soda, and then we're going to get started on studying for bio before I actually make a test. I stay waiting for you. Okay guys, so update time. It's probably been about an hour. I've just going, been going ham on my computer applications. I decided I wanted to keep pushing off bio, but I was like, I can't just do nothing. So I went back to my computer stuff. That's sometimes a helpful tip. If you do not want to do something like you're dreading it, sometimes it's good to just get it done, but sometimes it makes the other things in your to-do list that aren't fun seem more fun. Like it's really making coding seem fun because I have to do coding anyways, but I really don't want to study for bio. Literally fun fact about me, I'd rather do any amount of homework than study. Like I can't study, I hate it. So I'm gonna show you guys what is going on just to guys, give you guys a little update. Emily just left. Um, also the dishwasher's going, but I keep track of my notes for coding on my iPad, as you guys can see. It's really nice. He tells you the test questions if you actually listen to the videos. So I'm making my list. I'm in the middle of, I was like doing some stuff for hours at work. As you guys saw, I filled out my planner. I ate lunch. This is like what the lessons look like for my coding class. Um, not fun, but I'm on lesson five. I'm trying to catch up because basically I got behind in this just because my weeks are crazy. So I am getting up to date for this week so that I no longer feel like a little overwhelmed from it. I'm going to actually make myself an iced coffee right now, which, but did I already have one today? Absolutely, but am I gonna have to take a nap? If I don't have coffee, yes, and I don't have time for that. So I'm hoping to get at least like 80% of today's homework done before my meeting at five and it's two o'clock right now. So see if we can do it. No nap, we're gonna make more coffee. Again, this is the best coffee ever because it doesn't take time to make. I literally just poured and I just filled this up, so. Beep. There we go. How I've been like formulating my schedule for my sanity, I'm kind of just gonna share because it could help you guys. Because like the first week of school, I was an absolute mess. I was like, okay, I have put myself in too many different places. I don't have time. I can't do this. But I figured out a way to keep my mental sanity. Saturdays, I take pretty much a whole day off. I might work on YouTube stuff, but like absolutely no schoolwork is happening. I'm making that like my peaceful weekend day. And the thing is, Sunday is my favorite day of the week, and I don't even mind. Oop, I spilled some. I don't even mind doing some school on Sundays because I just feel like Sundays is like when I set the right tempo for the week. So I like to get ahead on everything I already have. That way I can have like the least stressful week possible, if that makes sense. So like today I'm doing all of my homework that has already been assigned or made available to me to get done for the future. Because Sundays are just like, I do my grocery shopping, I do my cleaning at my school, and my motivation's at highest. I feel like I was talking to Emily about this. Sundays are my absolute favorite. Sundays and Mondays, because I'm like on top of things. Everything is like, I can do this, I got this, I'm not behind on anything yet. And by the end of the week, I feel like I'm dragging my feet to get stuff done. So I kind of take advantage of my Sunday vibes, and I'm like, okay, let's get this done, let's do as much as possible, because I know by Thursday, I'm going to be doing the bare minimum, what I have to do, because I'm just tired, I'm feeling kind of defeated, and I'm done. So... Yeah, that's kind of what's happening. I'm gonna go drink my coffee. I need to also call my mom to interview her for a paper. There's just tons of things happening today, but the energy's high and it feels really, really good to cross things off your to-do list. So also, big, big help for me is to actually write a to-do list. Like, nothing feels better than being like, I did that, I didn't want to do that, but I did it. Okay guys, so I've done a little more schoolwork, but I put my video on pause. I'm going to throw some laundry in just so that like as a study break, a great way to do Sundays is use cleaning and like meal prepping as a study break so it becomes like fun. I haven't sorted these yet, yeah, I need to sort them, but um, it makes like doing laundry and making food and everything sound fun because it's like the break from school work. So like right now I was like, yes, I want to do laundry because then I don't have to do school work. So that's another great thing to use on Sundays. Like I literally use cleaning as a reward when like I need to clean anyways, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna actually keep watching my lesson video while I do this. So we're gonna go into time lapse. Okay guys, so random little study tip. I love to light a candle 
while I study and this is my literal favorite candle I've ever smelled. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. It's a White Barn brand from Bath and Body. I don't know, I feel like I just focus better when I have like a strong, like good scent going. So we are gonna light this. Literally, this smells so good. I'm obsessed. Okay guys, so update time. I finished my bio test and I did like three fourths. I have a small bit of computer left, but I actually got way more done than I thought. Doing good, my test took less time. It was like 80 minute time limit. I thought it would take me the full time, it took me 50, so. Happy about that. We are currently, we are currently about to make our spooky cookies. Emily is joining me. This brings me just too much joy. It's not even like how these taste, it's literally the vibe. It's the ghost for me. It's the ghosting for me. I'm choosing a different way to get ghosted this weekend. Spice it's it so up. Cute. Get I the change it. up somewhere. In the darkest hour, I wanna come for you. I know you've been alone. Oh, where do we go? In your head, when in the real world of snow. All right, y'all, I got my little setup ready for my Zoom meeting. I have my notes, I have my computer, I have a little pen so I can write stuff down. Literally, like, my number one Zoom meeting essential is water. I don't know. I seriously never drink as much water as I do when, like, someone else is talking on Zoom. I don't know if that's, like, appropriate, but it's a thing that I do. And then I have a little cookie I haven't ate yet. So I'm about to set up Zoom on my computer, and I will catch you guys after. All right, y'all, I just finished my Zoom meeting. I'm about to make dinner. I got a bunch of stuff out. To make it, I'm just gonna pre-make tacos for the week. We're gonna see if I make them dry. I usually do not like tacos to make at home, but we're gonna try. Emily, I'm gonna just peek on her because she's the fancier of the roommates. So bougie, kind of pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this. And I'll probably have like a time lapse, so cue that. because I think if you guys saw my apartment tour, it's kind of chaotic. So the lighting's kind of bad, but I'll insert like a small clip of it. It's like very backlit, so it is what it is. is not super good but I wanted to check in it's been a hot minute it is currently what time is it it is currently 8 01 and I am going to close off this video I just finished basically since you guys saw me I ran to the store with Emily and I um, interviewed my mom I'm writing a paper about being a teacher during coronavirus for my IMC writing class so I interviewed her took notes for that so the rest of the evening I'm gonna be writing that paper and editing this video because I'm actually like turning this around pretty quick so I actually like very recently filmed this when you guys are seeing this so I'm going to go ahead and end this video now so I can edit it and get it set up to go for you guys don't forget to check out Skillshare I love you sunflowers so much I hope you guys have the best week ever I wish all the blessings upon you glass half full baby um y'all are capable of amazing things and I'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video.